Proud to be joined now by proud Badger alum and Packers Hall of Famer Mark Tauscher. Mark, Big Ten football is back. What's your reaction? Uh, you know, excited and a, kind of one of those deals where it was like disbelief because you hear in August, I think August 11th, that, you know, no go and you're kind of disappointed. And then as you're seeing more and more stuff come up with it, the SEC and you're seeing Notre Dame play, you're excited for, you know, being a fan and you're also excited for the guys that get a chance to play because the entire time the players want to play, coaches want to coach. It's just, can we find an environment that it will make sense? And I'm happy that the Big Ten and with their medical and with everything that they were able to figure out are going to give these guys an opportunity to go play eight or nine games. You were a player in particular in Madison that benefited from having a fifth year. How important is this? for those guys that might be trying to get to the next level and have this opportunity to play another season? Yeah, it's huge. I think you have certain guys, the quarterback at Ohio State, that's going to be a first-round pick. But for me, just looking back into my fifth year, I was not on anyone's radar. You know, I wouldn't be talking to you right now because I would not have had an NFL career. If Big Ten would not have played, I would have never played. And then if you don't get that opportunity, it's never going to come back. And I think that's why I think a lot of people feel really good that for the players that feel healthy and feel safe to go out and play, their opportunities to go on to the next level and to graduate and to finish their career off, that's who the big winners were in this. The other day I asked Barry Alvarez about, are they going to put these guys in a bubble, just given the outbreaks on campus right now? And he had mentioned, we're going to put faith in these guys to be leaders on campus when it comes to COVID-19 and trying to be as safe as possible. Is that unrealistic expectations when you're talking about 18 to 22 year olds? No, I don't think it's unrealistic. I think the fact that it isn't just for you. I mean, the college football players, knowing that this is an opportunity that they thought just two weeks ago wasn't going to happen, you have to sacrifice. You're going to have to be extra diligent and not do the things that other college students do because I think a few slip-ups, you're missing two or three weeks of a season that's already shortened down to eight or nine weeks. So, yes, you have to be leaders. You have to be on top of it because this opportunity is fleeting. And any mistakes that you end up having are going to end up affecting both you and your teammates. To me, Mark, I think that this decision by the Big Ten shows just how much power the players have right now. Do you think that it's time to just take away the student from student athletes and call these players what they are, athletes? Do you think it's time to pay these kids? Uh, so that is a, I mean, I don't know how long this show is going to be. We could go for about an hour and a half on this. Uh, I do think the name image likeness and the fact that these guys should be able to go market themselves. Now, if you want to get into, should they be paid? There are a hundred things to go into. And I look at my own career and will say, you're probably getting a hundred to $150,000 worth of value. When you start adding up the facilities and the tuition room and board books, all of the things that go into it. But for guys like Ron Dane and some of these other guys that, had a marketability and could have made a bunch of money, jersey sales, all this stuff, absolutely the players should. And the good thing about this is the players do see the power that they hold. And what that's going to look like moving forward, I do think, I don't know if it will be this season, but you are going to see more and more of this. And players are understanding the amount of power that they have because without them, you know, you don't really have a game. I think we saw that in the Big Ten. And one final question for you. Eight games eight weeks, a Big Ten championship on December 19th, no fans in the stands. What do you think this season is going to look like? Ooh, that is, um, A, I'm glad we're having one, but I think Wisconsin building off of the momentum, I think this is a season when you look at the schedule and assuming, uh, you know, it's going to be Indiana as one of those non-conference crossover games, it always comes down to can you beat Ohio State? Uh, and you're missing a bunch of production from JT23. But it just seems to be you can always find a running back, get that system going. Wisconsin is always Wisconsin. And you would hope, let's get to December 19th, play in Ohio State for an opportunity to go to the college football playoff. I think that's what all Wisconsin fans are hoping for.